Hello Maris, how are you? My name is Tamiris, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna do a full face oozing e.l.f. product. Let's go! If this video color is a little weird, it's because of the fires in Canada. I live in New York and today it's very, very smoky. It's so yellow outside and hazy. I had to put some lights in here but I don't know if it's gonna work. This is how I look without the lights. Red because of all the smoke that is outside. It's like very orangey right now. So I hope that the lights help and the color is okay and you guys can see what I am doing. So let's start the makeup with the Power Grip Primer. This one has niacinamide. It feels like I'm applying glue on my face when I use this primer. For foundation, I'm gonna mix the Camo CC Cream and the Halo Glow Liquid Filter. The Halo Glow doesn't have a lot of coverage and the CC Cream has a lot of coverage. So mixing both of them, I think I'm gonna have like a medium coverage. Just gonna blend with a sponge. I need a little bit more coverage in some areas, so I'm going to use the Hydrating Camo Concealer. And I'm just gonna blend with the same makeup sponge. I am going to use the Halo Glow Beauty One Contour, and I have in the shade fair and in the shade light the fair is more a true contour and the light one is more like a bronzer so i'm gonna apply both of them so i am applying where my shadows are and where i wanted to create shadows which is here on the cheek and under the jaw And I am going to apply in the high points of my face. So right here on the cheek, kind of a little bit over my cheekbone and on my forehead. I am going to use this e.l.f. contour brush to blend the contour. and a bigger brush to blend the bronzer. This blends out very easily. Now for the blush, I am going to use the shade Rosé You Slay. It's the shade that I've been loving. It's a very rosy blush. Very pretty. And let's blend it is very pigmented but the color is so nice and I love the shimmer as well for highlighter I'm using the shade rose quartz very pretty rosy highlighter just apply some dots like this and I blend in with my finger. Look at this glow. Now to set the makeup, I'm using the Halo Glow setting powder. I really love the matte setting powder for mouth, but they discontinued. So uh, the Halo Glow is my go-to now. like leaving the powder for a while like baking on my skin but today I'm just gonna come with a fluffy brush and take all the excess out for my brows I'm going to use the brow lift but I am not lifting anything I'm just keeping my hairs in place but this is a very good product if you like laminated brows 
For the eyes, I'm using this uh, eyeshadow palette here. It's the Nude Rose Gold. I'm gonna get this beige color here and apply all over my crease. Now I'm gonna use this brown shade here and put it more on the outer corner of my eye. Bring a little bit into the crease. Now I'm gonna use this little pink shadow here, this very shimmery, and apply in the inner corner of my eye and bring it out to the middle. It is a very pretty shadow, but it's more subtle than colorful. And I have this Jelly Pop Face Eye Gloss. And I was thinking about using it on this eye to make it more vibrant. Now the shine is more intense and vibrant. In the bottom lashes, I'm gonna use the same brown that I use on the outer corner. Just blend here around the waterline. I think I'm going to use only a eyeliner pencil on the waterline. For the lashes, I'm gonna try this uh, Lash and Brew. Apparently, it's a dupe from the Benefit something roll. I forgot the name. The wand of this mascara is a little bit curved, so I think that really helps to curl a little bit the lashes. Now we only need to finish the lips. And I think I want something bold today. I think I'm gonna use this um, liquid matte lipstick in the shade Red Vixen. This lipstick dries very fast and once it's dry, it doesn't go anywhere. I think the color is very nice. I think it goes very well with this makeup. The eyes are a little bit more subtle and the lips are more bold. But I'm thinking about using a gloss on top of this lipstick. So I am going to use this clear one and I'm going to apply with a brush because we don't want red on a clear gloss. more in the middle so the lips have a little bit of shine well guys this is the final look let me know in the comments below what do you guys think i think it's very pretty i really like the complexion and i like how bold the lipstick is and how soft and smoky the eyes are so i really loved it if you guys like this video, give a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. It would mean the absolute world to me. Hit that bell button so you can get notifications on my future uploads. And I'm sorry if the light of the video is a little weird. I tried my best. A big kiss and I'll see you all in my next video.